Okay, simplify without the use of a calculator. This is what we are given. We are not allowed uh, to use a, a calculator. The calculator is not allowed actually there. So we are given to simplify this that is under the sales in this case. All right, so these are the application uh, or the applications of sales. So this is our question and we're given four marks for that. All right, the square root of five over, the square root of five plus two plus the square root of 10 over five how can we simplify this? If we check, we can see that our denominators here, they are not rational terms. So we are supposed to rationalize our denominators. Uh, we're going to rationalize the denominator of this fraction. So how do I rationalize this? An expression, when, whenever I have an expression like this, I introduce a negative. Where there's a positive, I'm going to introduce a negative. We multiply by that both the numerator and the denominator of our of our given fraction. What am I trying to say? We multiply by introducing, by what we have introduced here, which is the negative. We just introduce a negative here. So that will be the square root of five minus two, everything over the square root of five minus two. That's how we rationalize uh, the denominator when we are given two terms that are being added. Just introduce a negative. If, if it is a minus, introduce a negative, it becomes a plus. But when you are given a single term, like what you're given here, we're given to add, this is a single term. It's, it's a single term, that one. The square root of five is different from what we have, the square root of five plus two. There were two terms there. This one, it's a single term. So how do you rationalize? You multiply by the denominator, both the numerator and the denominator. Is, so you're gonna multiply by the square root of five over the square root of five. So you find out here we are simply multiplying by one. This is the same thing. We are simply multiplying by one. We are simply also here multiplying by one. That means it does not affect our question. What we just need here is to make sure that this becomes a rational term. This gives us a rational term. All right. So how is that possible? Let us see. If we simplify the first part, we are going to see that here. Uh, if we simplify, going to multiply by the square root of five, everything on top. So the square root of five is going to multiply everything here. All right. So that is uh, the square root of five times the square root of five from our laws of exponents. Uh, the square root of five time from our laws of sets. The square root of five times square root of five, it gives us a five. From which law? The square root of a times the square root of a is equal to a. If these two are the same, we obtain that term as it is, which is under the square root. Or you can combine. 5 times 5, you get what? 25 under the square root. And the square root of 25 is, is a 5. So that means if you multiply here, we're going to get a 5. We do the same thing. The square root of 5 is going to multiply minus 2. So that's square root of 5 times minus 2, which is minus 2, the square root of 5. Okay. If we check now in the denominators here, we have got the square root of 5 plus 2, the square root of 5 minus 2. This is the same situation or the same scenario that we have of the difference of two squares. Remember from the concept of A minus B into the bracket of A plus B, where it was taken from, it was taken from A squared minus B squared. And this is what we have. We've got this part and this part, they're the same. Only that the other part, there's a plus, the other part, there is a minus. So it simply means we, we had to square A and B, subtracting them. All right, so this is your A. This is your B, this is your A, this is your B. So we're simply going to have A squared minus B squared, which is our A, the square root of five. So that is going to be the square root of five squared minus B squared. Our B squared, our B is two. So that will be a two squared. So we are applying the difference of two squares, all right? Plus we simplify this part that we are having here. Uh, so they're just going to multiply the numerators together. 10 times the square root of five, that's 10 square root of 5. There's nothing that we're going to do there. Uh, we are back again to the square root of 5 times the square root of 5. Remember what I said, the square root of 5 and square root of 5, we got a 5 uh, from the previous case. So that means we have to simplify here. That is going to be 5 minus 2, the square root of 5, everything over y. The square root of 5 squared, we are back again, guys. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 means the square root of 5 squared. So meaning to say we are going to obtain a 5. So this is going to be a 5 minus two squared, two squared, that is two times two, which is a four and five minus four, it gives us what? A one. So this whole part is over one plus, gonna divide five and two, can uh, five and 10, that will be two square root of five. All right, so I want us to take a closer look. If we divide anything by one, 
that is 6 divided by 1, a divided by 1, this remains as it is as a 6, this remains as an a. So if we divide by 1, this whole part here, we are dividing by what? By 1. It remains as it is, which is 5 minus 2, the square root of 5 like this. Plus, already we are having the 2 square root of 5 from our simplification. On the other hand, we are having what? 2 square root of 5. So what are we saying? We are back to the condition of the like terms. Remember, sets are considered also as like terms. If the numbers under the square root are the same, they are considered as what? As like terms. If the numbers under the square root here are the same, we've got square root of 5 and square root of 5, so you can subtract minus 2 plus a 2. That gives us as it's only a condition that we can subtract or add if the numbers, these numbers here under the square root are the same. So what do you do? You combine the coefficients of these numbers. There we have got what? Uh, there we have got, uh, in this case, a minus two, and this is a plus two. So if we add, guys, minus, plus, minus two plus two, that's what? That's a zero. So that means there's nothing that you're obtaining here. We are obtaining zero square root of five, which is what? Which is a zero, but there's a minus five. I mean, there's a five there. So it's going to be 5 plus 0, which is what? Which is 5. So that's what you're going to have in this case because this is giving us a 0. If we combine this, minus 2 plus 2, we obtain what? We obtain a 0. So at the end, uh, the resultant was going to be a 5. So these are the typical questions that we might have under the SEDS, these are the applications of SEDS where the calculator is not required. Simplify without the use of a calculator. The calculator is not required in this simplification. So we shall have more questions uh, of this nature from Maison African Motives uh, till we meet again.